Last week, mobile operator Orange and credit provider Barclay Card joined forces to develop a new range of mobile financial and payment services. Using near-field communications, their combined 28 million UK customers will be able to use their handsets in retail outlets to make payments. Rollout is expected to take three years. We have been at uh, the group level working on NFC for quite some time now. We have been doing trials in the UK, in France, in Spain. What we are excited about is that with NFC phones, we'll be able to offer a number of services, including payment, including transport ticketing, essentially everything that currently one can do with a plastic card or a paper ticket. Last year, rival mobile operator O2 UK conducted Europe's largest pilot of NFC technology on mobile phones. Barclay Card was also involved in the six-month pilot, which found that users will buy mobile phones equipped with mobile wallets if offered the choice. So I asked whether Orange's solution would be compatible with that of O2. So NFC technology is now a fully standardized technology. So uh, whatever mobile operator, they will use the same technology, they will use the same mobile handsets, the same SIM cards. But at the same time, each mobile operator will seek to develop on top of this generic technology their own specific features, such as, for example, the way uh, people can subscribe to services, the way the service is going to be displayed to the user. So these are going to be areas where mobile operators probably are going to differentiate. Despite these developments, NFC remains much more advanced in countries like Japan and South Korea than in Europe or the US. If we take the case of Japan, uh, it's all down to the fact that uh, there's only one technology provider, which is Sony. So what has been deployed in Japan is very much a proprietary solution from just one technical supplier. So the advantage of a technical of a proprietary solution is that it's easier to deploy, but at the same time it has limitations in terms of interoperability. In the GSM world, uh, we have many suppliers we had to rely on technical standards, on international standards, and that took, that took some time uh, to develop and agree.